during some of my searches on eBay, I was searching for Kikosui stuff on my oscilloscope that is still broken. Um, Kikosui, I, I knew about their um, dummy loads, their DC electronic loads. Um, and I was somewhat familiar that they had power supplies, uh, but really wasn't interested because I've got power supplies. Uh, but uh, one of my uh, searches came up with this unit and um, I've been looking for a high voltage supply. Um, this one goes to 160 volts. Um, they have a whole range of power supplies in this form factor that have different uh, voltages, different currents and stuff. So this one says it's 160 volts, 0.4 amps. Um, but I think there's a wattage uh, calculation you need to, you need to do there. Um, so uh, it has a, a grounding post and a uh, switch in the front here. And it has a 10 turn pot for the voltage, which is really nice. Uh, current is a one turn pot. So let's, uh, let's hook this thing up and uh, see how much volts outputs. Okay. Uh, 35. The meter's pretty accurate. Ah, it clicked. So it has a relay that swaps in and out uh, windings on the transformer right at about uh, 90 volts. Um, yeah, let's see here. There's 100 volts. Let's take it all the way up. And sure enough, 165 volts. So it'll do 160 volts. Very nice. This could come in, this could come in real handy. Um, I have another supply somewhere that I think is good to 100 volts, but this will let, this will let me turn on Nixies and Neons and things like that. So, yeah, pretty cool. I like it. Uh, I haven't found a schematic for it yet. It seems like I seems like I searched for a schematic before I purchased it. I always like to make sure I can get documentation before I per, before I buy anything. It seems like I was able to find one. There was a, one schematic that kind of handled all of the different uh, versions of this. Um, not just the 160, but you know, the 100 volt and the 50 volt. There's a, a range of these uh, of this model here. It's a nice real small form factor too. So I'll well, we go ahead and open it up and take a look inside and see how this thing is, uh, see how this thing's constructed. Uh, one of the things I found interesting about this, um, it has a, a permanently attached cord, which is just real old school, but it's 120 volts only, uh, which is interesting. 120 volts. Because um, in Japan it's 100 volts, so I don't, I don't know. Kind of strange. Maybe inside it's different. But let's go, I've taken the screws off, so let's, uh, let's, oh, there's one, one screw here that I, uh, I didn't see because it was black. All right. Interesting. Transformer is marked 20 volts and then S1, S2. Hmm. Oh, there's a whole bunch of windings on the other side. But yeah, let's take a look. One big transformer right in the center. That's nice. Uh, there's a fuse down here. Uh, three amp fuse. Some load resistors. There's two. Looks like there's two pass transistors in, uh, in series, um, or in parallel probably. And then another set of, oh, that's interesting. So there's two transistors on this heat sink and two transistors on this heat sink. And uh, the outside one is black and the inside one is aluminum. Interesting. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. Uh, let's see, who made the, uh, who made the meters? Japanese, of course. Uh, I don't know, I can't read that. Anyway, it's also interesting this thing's built in Taiwan. On the bottom it says made in Taiwan, so that's interesting as well for a Japanese company. Yeah, it looks very, very simple. Just 
the one board. There's very, very little on it. Uh, looks like it's all no op amps, just all transistors, old, old design. Yeah. There you go. Let me give you some close-ups for, there, for uh, those watching. There's the two. And uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's two transistors on that one, two transistors on that one. And uh... anyway, I'm very happy with the purchase. I paid $24 for it. <laughs> of course, I had to pay shipping, which isn't, isn't cheap for something that's heavy. Probably another $24, but uh, yeah, I thought it was a good deal. All right, let's uh, light something up. Here's a uh, neon light bulb. There's a, a 68K resistor in here, I think. But we'll go ahead and uh, hook up the uh, light bulb. See if I can uh, watch it turn on. Let's turn up the voltage. And there you go, it's, uh, it's glowing. And I'll turn it down and it continues to glow. And then it turns off. So it's turning off about 70 volts. And it's turning on, let's see here, let's go back down again. It's turning on about 85 volts. About 87 volts turn on, and the gardener's here, yay. And it turns off around 67 volts, so 87, 67. So there you go, it seems to work, and uh, it's a welcome addition to the bench.